starting position eight in the Knoxville Nationals A main, Greg Hodnett. You had a solid qualifying night, and now you're starting eighth in the A. Yeah, we're very fortunate to be here. Trust me. <laughs> After the last couple of years, we've really struggled to get qualified and uh, had to start way back. So this is a blessing, and hopefully we can take advantage of an opportunity. You've got some heavy hitters because it is the A main of the Knoxville Nationals. What's going to be the strategy? You've been solid on the bottom all week long. Well, I think I'm going to have to recognize when it's not working. That's my biggest problem right now. We've been pretty much beating it to death, and um, it cost us, well, it could have cost us a lot worse uh, the other night. So I think trying to recognize when to move, uh, when to be certain places, that's going to be big. Um, you know, obviously getting through the first few laps without crashing or doing anything stupid, that's a big part of it, and then being able to finish. Can't win if you don't finish. So all those things pretty much got to concentrate, and then we got to work on speed. Uh, we have a lot of great, great competitors. This is the toughest race in the world against the toughest competition. We just have to be perfect. And, um, you know, we've been pretty good. Uh, we know we got a little bottle. No need to be a lot better, but uh, we're going to do everything we can to stay up towards the front. Starting position eight, do you have confidence or are you nervous? Um, no, I, I think we're okay. Um, am I confident that we're going to drive by Donnie shots easily? <laughs> No, if anybody in the field would say otherwise, they'd probably be lying. So, um, you know, there's there's a lot of really good cars. I think if we get our car right and if I make good decisions, we can be competitive. Um, but also very realistic to know if we don't or if I don't do the things that we need to do, um, we can look pretty bad pretty quickly from the standpoint of the, the great competitors we have around us. All right, well, you've looked solid all week this week, and we wish you the best luck in the A feature tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Driver of the 3G, Carson Macedo, why don't you tell the fans who doesn't, don't know, what have you been up to this year? Uh, I actually spent a lot, of the, a lot of the season in the Midwest. You know, uh, done a lot of racing in Ohio, a lot of all-star circuit of champions stuff, uh, and really been enjoying it. You know, we've, we've really been strong all year, uh, picked up a few wins, and and uh, been pretty successful so that's really all you can ask for you know pretty much every time we've we've hit the track we've really had a lot of good speed you know and so um, I'm pretty happy and hopefully that can continue you know being here in Knoxville it's it's a little bit tough I haven't really made a whole lot of laps here so struggling a little bit but uh, hopefully tonight's a little bit different we you know we drew a good number and go out pretty early so uh, maybe we can change some luck around. You raced over in Australia last year how, how was that for you? Oh, it was great. You know, uh, I actually got to drive for Sean and Felicity Dice, and they're really, really good people. Um, right out of Sydney, uh, Sydney, Australia, which is about an hour south. Of, sorry, Singleton, Australia, which is about an hour south of Sydney. And you know, we did a lot of Sydney local stuff. We ran the, you know, the Scott Darley race, which is a big race down there. And then we actually traveled down south, did the Classic Week, and we actually won down at the President's Cup. So, uh, you know. Honestly, it just, it's just phenomenal to be able to drive their race car. They're really good people. And actually going back this year to drive for them again. So, uh, yeah, I've, you know, I've, I've been having a blast. And, and now, you know, that's made us eligible to race the Speed Sport Challenge here. So, um, you know, it's, it's been great and happy to be part of that event also. What kind of competition does it bring in Australia as opposed to here in America? Uh, you know, it's a little bit different. I'd say back, uh, you know, it seems like anyway from talking to other people the back 20 years ago or whatever that they, you know, the Australian competition was maybe maybe not up to par as it is today. But truthfully, you know, they they really are just as competitive as we are. You know, you see a lot of the American drivers go down there and do pretty well, but at the same time, there's a lot of good guys that are competing at that levels that we are. You know, two that come to mind straight away, Jamie Veal and James McFadden, they come over here and. They do a really good job here in the U.S. and uh, they race just as much as we do now. See, uh, before I think part of the reason was we can race 100 races a year because there's so many events scheduled in the U.S. Um, but over there, you know, at max, they can maybe run 35 races. So we're at a huge advantage in seat time. But now, a lot of them come here and race through our full season too. So they're getting in the races that we are, and um, you can you can definitely see the outcome when you go over there and race against them. And it's 410 Nationals week. Not up to par. You're back here on Friday night, but you feeling confident about the next two nights? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, a, a lot of the qualifying seems to be if you get a pretty good pill and can lay down a pretty good lap. And uh, we got a good pill, so now all we have to do is do our job, you know. So uh, it could go either way. Just because you're up here does not mean that, you know, the night is going to be perfect by any means. So got to do your job. And uh, we're just going to take it one race at a time, you know, go out and 
focus on hot lapping well and having speed and then get our two laps in and qualifying and make sure that they're straight and fast and and then put ourselves in good hopefully a good position in the heat and go forward and lock into the feature and once you get into the feature I think you know it, it, you just try to make good points and obviously tonight you got to run in the top four to lock in so you got to get you got to get going um, but we'll see you know um, I think I think uh, I think we got a good shot well, we're happy to have you here and we wish you best luck tonight yeah I appreciate it thanks for having us we're not in Canada anymore, Thomas Kennedy. We're in Knoxville, Iowa. What are you doing here? I'm racing, like everybody else. Racing, and you've got a different paint scheme than you've had the past couple weeks. I can't really tell what's different, but I think there, that Canadian flag wasn't there before. No, no, we got the Canadian flag there now, and you know, as you can see, the two and the K are gone from the race car, so technically we're still racing under the number one tonight. Under number one, is there anything else different with the car? I'm, I'm struggling to see what else is different aside from the tape and the Canadian flag. Yeah, maybe the color we might have, you know, painted the bl over the black last night to blue. That's about it. Yeah, yep, I, I would have to say that's a big difference as well. Yeah. But let's get back to the real topic, racing. How have you been doing here so far? Uh, pretty good. You know, we did fairly well in the 360 Nationals, made every feature, you know, the qualifying night and the final night which was great I made a uh, qualifying night of the 410s and you know just didn't do that good of a job in the future to enable myself to get up in the future or be main so we're gonna start over and now you're racing with the world challenge the only Canadian in the field what's that feel like uh, actually I'm gonna be uh, one of two Canadians Skylar Gee's gonna be in it tonight as well in the 99 white car so you gotta watch out for him too all right what kind of emotions are running through your head? Two nights left in Nationals. Uh, you know, hopefully we come out of here in one piece and, hey, we can get up in the feature tonight and, hey, uh, top four, that would be great. That's what we're hoping for. Or win the World Challenge. That's what we're going for. Well, we're happy to have some Canadians here and we wish the best of luck. Thank you. Thanks.